Howdy y'all, Caleb here. And we have a new War Scroll for our Seraphon armies. This is exciting. Um, when, when one of these war bands for Warcry or Underworlds comes out, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's, a, it's a flip of the coin. Is it going to be any good? Or is it just going to be absolute trash? Uh, so we've seen these things show up and, and be really good in some armies and then be, never see the table in other armies. So it's kind of exciting to get to see a new War Scroll. We've been playing with the same stuff for a while. We're, we're waiting for our, our third edition book. And so this might give us a little taste of that. This is the um, the uh, War Scrolls for the new Warcry Warband for Seraphon. Now, if you update your app um, for Age of Sigmar, then you'll see these pop up in the Seraphon section. So they come with three different War Scrolls for this unit. It's a pretty big unit in that box set. It comes with three of these Terra Wings, which are like, they kind of look like baby Pterodons. Uh, pretty cool. A great little model there. It comes with five melee skinks and five uh, basically chameleon skinks. And so you have a, a pretty nice mix of models here. Um, a lot of, quite a few things that we already have that we can that we can proxy if you if you don't want to buy that big giant box yet um, as we wait for these to become available independently. Uh, you will have to put your ter uh, some pterodons on smaller bases to make them terra wings, but um, I, I'm ready for this to be available as its own as its own unit, so I can buy the unit. I, I don't play Warcry, but I do want this right here to add to my army. Uh, some great models, and and will be fun to paint and play. So we have three different war scrolls let's look at these pretty interesting i'll have them linked below you can go check them out if you want to see them or just look in the app they're available in the app now as soon as you update them um the first one is this hunters of and i'm not even going to try to pronounce that <laughs> we're going to say hunters with dart pipes uh let's go with that because i don't know how to pronounce that word uh, these are our chameleon skinks, and they they have a lot of similarities to our current chameleon skinks, but some upgrades. So it is a unit of five, and it's 135 points. So that's 20 points more than our current chameleon skinks, and we'll get into it, but it's definitely worth the extra 20 points if you've got it. So five models, one wound each, eight inch move, six, in, six up save, and five bravery. Of course, that's 10 in a starborn side of the army, five for coalesce. Um, very similar to our, uh, exactly the same with the chameleon skinks. Um, we see that each one's armed with a dart pipe and feeble claws, which I love, I love feeble claws. The dart pipe is, has a 16 inch range, so pretty, pretty nice range, especially for something that's going to be deep striking a lot. Uh, they, this unit can be set up into reserves. We'll get that here in a second, but that 16 inch dart pipe is, is very nice for this two attacks each on threes and threes. So this actually wounds better than the command skinks. Command skinks are threes and fours, no rend one damage. So this is already better. Of course, the command skinks don't do a lot of damage. That's only a total of 10 attacks, 11 when, when we get down to this champion that's coming up, um, but really, you're fishing for sixes, which are which we still have the star venom, so they still are going to do mortal wounds. So don't expect a ton of output from these, but you can plink off some mortal wounds. Feeble claws will do absolutely nothing. <laughs> One attack each, fives and fives. Just don't even don't get these guys into combat. Basically. One model can be a Chameleon Skink Alpha. Add one to the attack character. Oh, that model's Dart Pipes. Okay, I don't care about the extra attacks, but having a champion in your unit of basically Chameleon Skinks is great. You know how many times I've played Chameleon Skinks, and they currently, they haven't been updated to third edition, so they don't have a champion. They don't have a musician like this one does. And so you can't um, issue commands to this unit. And so you're wanting to deep strike this unit. It's going to be out of range of any of your heroes. And now you can't give it any command points. That That's hurt me quite a few times um, in games that I've played Commanding Skinks. You want to be able to issue command points. So uh, like Redeploy or Unleash Hell if, if, if you've got the command points for that. Or inspiring presence, you know, a lot of important things that you'd want to be able to do. Uh, so that is huge. I would pay for that right there just by itself, just getting the champion, <laughs> the extra 20 points. Uh, it's basically an upgraded Chameleon Skink War Scroll. That's what this is. 
Um, command ambush is the same thing as what we have with our command skinks. You can set this up off the battlefield instead of on to the, the battlefield. You can set it up as a reserve unit. And then it can uh, deep strike, ambush, whatever you call it, outside of nine inches of your enemy. It does have that unique unit where at the end of your movement phase, you can put it back into reserve and then bring it down. Now you're limited to this because it does still have the rule that um, at the start of the fourth battle round, everything's destroyed. So you're going to be doing that in turn one or two. Um, and generally you're putting these things off the board. So your only chance to ever do this is in round two. And then you're losing some productivity out of it. I almost never take it out uh, and put it back up into reserves. But it's there if you need that option. Perfect Mimicry. This is the same um, wording as on the Chameleon Sinks. the same title, but it's different. And, and I'm hoping that the Chameleon Sinks, whenever they update us, will get the same one here because I really like this. So Chameleon Sinks get a four-up ward with their, when they're within one inch of terrain piece. Per this Perfect Mimicry for this unit is this unit is not visible to enemy units that are more than 12 inches away or while it's in cover. That is great. Because what these Chameleon Skinks do, they, they just want to annoy your opponent. You want to pop these guys behind enemy lines and make them have to devote something to it. And now if they can't, you know, shoot it with something while they're while they're moving away from them, that's what a lot of times what would happen. They'll, they'll start heading up across the board away from these guys and shoot back at them as they're heading back towards something else. Now you're going to force them to come over and engage these Chameleon Skinks. So this is a very good... Very good rule. I'll, I'll take this over the ward save any day. Um, and it's not just within 12 inches. They've got to get, they basically got to come, if you can deploy this right, they basically got to come get them in melee. Because if you can deploy them into cover, they can't shoot them at all. Like they're not going to be visible at all. And so they're going to have to come over and melee them. Uh, so that's going to be great. That's going to be a perfect harassment unit right there. We, uh, we talked about the Star Venom. It does do the sixes to Mortal Wound on hits of sixes. That's very good. It will let these actually do a little bit of damage. So you're just rolling those um, basically 11 dice, hoping for sixes, and maybe you'll get one or two and do some Mortal Wounds. Uh, that's always just kind of, kind of the bonus there. Sometimes you'll spike it and do a couple Mortal Wounds, and that's always nice. You do, uh, let's see, anything else we need to point out from here? No, I don't think so. Uh, 135 points for these. I I would take these any day over the Chameleon Skinks. As long as I've got an extra 20 points, <laughs> put these in your list over Chameleon Skinks. Uh, definitely, definitely a worth it. A, a valid upgrade there if you're playing Chameleon Skinks. And you can just run your same Chameleon Skinks. If this is the only, only one you're using from this unit, just run your Chameleon Skinks as them. The second unit in this list is the um, Hunter's with starstone bolas so we we like the bolas we, we you know we've got pterodons that have bolas now we've got some guys on foot that have bolas uh, a very cool weapon these are a unit of five skinks they are only 90 points so pretty cheap here one wound each eight inch move five up save five bravery um obviously goes to 10 in, in starborn yada 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 so um they are each uh, uh, each armed with a bola and a uh, da, 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 with a moonstone club. So let's look at these attack profiles here. So the missile weapons for the starstone bolas are eight inch range, one attack each. Not very impressive. Threes and threes, no rend, one damage. So already not a eight inch range on something that uh, we can deep strike at nine inches. Just Blows my mind. Why would you put 8-inch range on something that's designed to deep strike? So already, I'm already seeing that this has reduced effectivity as you're not going to be able to use half its war scrolls, <laughs> to be honest. Your your Hunter Javelin is what a special character can get. You're going to give that to your hero. It actually has a decent profile. Threes and threes, minus one in two damage. Uh, you, you're going to get two shots with that. But it doesn't matter because it's at eight inch range, so not too impressive with that one with the range. Moonstone Club won't do any damage. Hunter Javelin is nice. Uh, you'll have one model with that, so it's 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 a it's a good one. You might plink some damage through on that one. You do get one extra attacks with the uh, Moonstone Club for the champion. Oh man, you know I thought you could give that to. I thought you could. 
I thought you could get an extra attack with the javelin if the champion had the javelin, but no, it doesn't look like that. That's a bummer. All right, so you do have a champion, a musician, and this guy armed with a javelin. So you got some interesting things there. Um, they can be the man. You almost don't want the javelin to be honest, because you want extra rolls for your starstone bolas. So it's already it's war scrolls kind of working against each other. Let's let's skip quickly to what the bolas do. The bolas here have a a special rule. Unmodified hit roll for an attack made with a bola is is six. The target unit is stunned until the end of the following combat phase. Subtract one from hit rolls for attacks made by a unit that is stunned. So you're going to make somebody minus one to hit. A nice little ability, but this thing is hampered by its range. It's only an eight inch shot. And so you're going to deep strike these things. They have the chameleon ambush rule that uh, all the other chameleon skinks have. And so you're going to be doing, you, that's what you want to do. You're paying for that ability. You know, you're only paying 90 points, but you're still paying for that ability, and they're not going to be able to use half their war scroll when they come in. So I don't like this one as much, but it is cheap, and we'll get to why that is is valuable um, here in a second because I think it pairs well with the next one. And it does still have the perfect mimicry that the other Chameleon Skinks have. So they, uh, they aren't going to be visible to enemies that are more than 12 inches away or if it's within cover. So it can still be a very cheap harassing unit. Like I'm going, I'm popping in behind you. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit back there and force you to come back and deal with me. Or I'm going to, I'm going to harass your objectives the rest of the game. Um, so at 90 points, it's not as good as the hunters with blowpipes, but I think it could still fill a role. And I think that role is going to be your um, deep strike with this next war scroll the next war scroll is the terra wings a very interesting addition here um because it's very cheap and it has an interesting ability so this is a unit of three uh terra wings here they it's only 75 points for this unit so when you're when you're looking at this think aether wings that's what that's what that's what this brings to mind is this is our aether wings a very cheap mobile screen but has a little you know niche play with it so three units uh three three models in the unit two wounds 12 inch move six up save five bravery so it's pretty fast um 12 inches is, is me you know medium fast but, but pretty fast there for a, a a nice little screen it does fly obviously it's got wings snapping beak melee is i mean pretty bad no rend, fours and fours. So you're not looking for this thing to do much damage. I guess it's still better than Aether Wings, I think. It's been a while since I've looked at the Aether Wings. I think they only have two attacks each. So you do, you know, you have 12 attacks. You'll maybe make them roll a couple of saves, not much. Um, but the abilities are where it gets interesting. Um, this Nerve Shredding Screech. In the shooting phase, you pick one enemy unit within 12 inches of this unit and roll 2d6. If the roll is higher than that unit's bravery characteristic, that enemy unit cannot issue or receive commands until the end of the turn. So this is very nice in that you can shut down um, commands. And so that's going to help us a lot with people who are trying to um, use all-out defense. And so if you're going to be shooting or com going in for combat and melee, this is going to be great because you're going to be able to shut that down with this ability. Now, it's very situational. There's going to be some units like if you're going up against something that has a bravery of 10, you have a very low chance of getting that. But if you can go up against something that has a low bravery, you're going to be able to to, to pick them off you know, somewhat reliably depending on what their, uh, depending on what their bravery is. So that is a nice ability. It is an ability, so you can run these guys. So they have a 12 inch move. You could run them, and now they you can use this ability within 12 inches. So you have a pretty good threat range. Uh, you're talking, you know, 24 inches on the war scroll. And then if you run, you could do 30 inches. Uh, if you're in, they do have, oh, they don't have a skink keyword. Ah, I was hoping they'd have a skink keyword. 
you're not really gonna be able to buff these things a lot because they only have the Seraphon and Terra Wings keyword, which is kind of weird. Terra Wings keyword is a new one for us. Um, but they don't get the extra movement in in Fangs of Sotek, so that's kind of disappointing. But they have enough range where I think you can hit, get to what you want mostly. But they have this weird rule called symbiotic relationship. And this one is during deployment, instead of setting this up this unit on the battlefield, if you have any hunters um, units in reserve, you can place this unit to one side and say it's hiding as a reserve unit. If you do so at the end of your movement phase, you can set this up on the battlefield within three inches of, of a friendly hunter's unit and more than nine inches from all enemy units. So it comes down with one of those other two units that are in reserve. And so because its ability is within 12 inches, you can bring this down. You can try to pick off somebody's bravery to shut down their command ability so they can't use all out defense and things, all out attack. I mean, they could use all out attack in combat. Um, and so if you're going into a priority target, you can bring this down and really shut down that priority target that you're going to hit with the important things. This isn't going to do any damage, but what it's going to do is it's going to help shut down those command abilities. So very useful there and pretty cheap. So I could see this being used. I mean, you could put this on the board and don't even worry about the symbiotic relationship. Um, it's cheap enough to just act as a screen. It's fast enough to get to where it needs to go and use that ability. Or you can put it up in the sky with one of those other two units. So I think I could see this being used with the, the hunters with bolas. Not because the bolas can do anything, but because it's so cheap. So that's 90 points for this one, 75 for the Terra Wing. So you're talking 165, and you've got two units that you can bring down out of reserves. And what that means is that is an easy, a super easy guaranteed battle tactic for 165 points. That's the cheapest we've ever, ever been able to get that one, um, especially on the Coalesce side. Uh, Coalesce, you don't have a lot of good, you don't have any teleports or deep strikes or reserves. So this gives you that very good ability with your, instead of taking two units of Chameleon Skinks, you can take this and it's a cheaper version of the two units of Chameleon Skinks. Now, it won't quite do as much, but if you can drop them down um, strategically, get those terror wings onto something important that you're going to be hitting with, let's say, all of your Basildons that you have or your Stegodons or your Knights, this is going to shut down that all-out defense so that maybe it helps us get around our lack of rend in the army. So I like that combo. I think if you have enough points... Bring them with the with the hunters. You're gonna you're gonna put down the hunters, you know, far as far away as you can, but to where you can still get um, the terror wings within 12 inches of whatever target you're doing. So you have enough room, kind of, to play. You'll be putting the terror wings down within outside, right within 12. Then these guys right within three, um, and so they're still within range, 16 inches of whatever target you're looking for. Um, even though they're 15 inches away. So um, some good some good um, symbiotic relationship between the dart pipes and the terror wings, I think. Um, but all three of them, I, I, I think, could have a place in our list. And none of them are like OP or anything, but I think they do have a role. Dart pipes, just a better chameleon skink. Uh, Bolas are just a super cheap reserve unit that can deep strike. And Terror Wings pair perfectly well with either one of those. So I'm excited to try them out and get them on the board. As soon as I can get my hands on this unit individually, I'll be buying. <laughs> All right, guys. See you all next time.